to join me as well. Excellent. Hello. I will try and share my screen. So hello, everyone. Um, So can you see that? <clears throat> I'm not very good at sharing my screen. So is that come up? I can see it. Yep. OK, that's, that's great. Fine. That's great. Thank you. Um, so um, it's me, myself and Debbie here today just to um, talk to you about NM Trust direct payment support service that we provide in Swindon. I'm Louise Thorpe, Head of Operations, um, so I oversee the direct payment and personal health budget contracts that we run. Um, and I'll let Debbie introduce herself. Um, hello, I'm Debbie Corcoran. I'm the IAG Manager of the Swindon Team Direct Payments. OK, so um, we support people um, that receive direct payments or are considering receiving a direct payment. So a direct payment is funding from the local authority um, that is provided as, as an alternative to traditionally commissioned care. It gives the individual um, an amount of money um, to meet their assessed health and care needs. Um, the individual then has a choice and control over how they um, support, um, how they organise the support that they receive. So they, they might choose to use an agency, they might choose um, to employ their own personal assistant. So that means they become an employer. So what we do is we provide advice and guidance. We chat to people about the options that are available, whether it be a domiciliary agency or they like to employ their own personal assistant. And information as well on, on advice on managing the direct payment. Advice and guidance to individuals to understand that they have employment responsibilities, so they are the employer. And ongoing information, advice and guidance relating to the management of their direct payment. OK, so with a direct payment, the, the individual basically becomes um, in control of the services they receive. And this is a quote that we quite like um, from a few years back now um, from an individual who was in receipt of a direct payment. And they were saying that having a direct payment was like being the chief exec because they were in control, but they were aware that with the support around them, they didn't have to do everything themselves, um, which they found was really empowering. So. We've got different services, which we'll cover later on in the um, presentation. So we, oh, sorry, I couldn't see that one. They're just admitting people in. There's loads of people coming in. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we support direct payments, uh, recipients, clients, service users to support them with their budgeting. So how they would use the direct payment. Support with recruiting, which is placing advertisements, uh, shortlisting, interviewing. We support them with the employment side as well. So it, um, we set them up with employers liability insurance. If there's any issues, we're there to support them. And also the insurance company is there to support them with pay, uh, employment issues. We provide a payroll, payroll service, and we can look after the account. We can look after the monies, which is a managed account. Now, managed account doesn't mean that we're the employers. They're still the employers, and we just manage the money for them. Okay, so looking at the recruitment process, what we do is we work with the individual to draw up so that they can draw up their own um, advert and job description um, that really focuses on what's important to them um, to help them employ someone that's going to really work for them so it's not just about whether they can carry out the tasks they need them to do but also whether they're going to be a good match um it's quite a um quite a big thing really to have someone supporting you in your own home so that's really important to start with that point um we then support the individuals to place adverts um we encourage them to do the same um as well but we're there to support with that process we um we also support by receiving um, CVs and applications, and this means the individual can stay anonymous, so they don't have to give their um, email address or, or anything out to people. 
Um, we, we advise people on how to shortlist and we can support them with that process as needed. Um, so we can, we, everything we do is to support the individual to develop skills and knowledge about the whole process to enable them to become as independent as possible with it. For some people, they might be, you know, okay to do that from the beginning themselves and other people might need some more um, to develop more skills and knowledge to be, enable them to um, gain those skills going forwards. We also support individuals with interviewing and previously many people would use the interview rooms at um, Sanford House and more recently we've um, supported people through um, Teams interviews. And we are able to support with offer letters if needed um, or provide templates for individuals to do their own. We can also give advice and guidance on work time regulations, support with the contracts of employment. If a, um, a client employs more than five personal assistants, they need to have a risk assessment in place. They have, we can check the right to work or support an individual to check their new PA's right to work and advice on general data protection. The Mullers account, like um, Debbie said earlier, um, we hold people's funds on their behalf, which is something people do find quite stressful or can find stressful to have been um, receipt of money from the local authority. Um, so we are able to hold that on their behalf and um, we can then pay the wages and HMRC um, if they're employing privately. We can um, provide quarterly statements to them. We pay agency bills if they need that as well. Um, the, like Debbie said earlier, the DP client is still um, the employer or the contractor, so they still have control. We're just there to you know, support them with the admin of the money really. Payroll services we want to also provide. We would register them with HMRC, um, and register with a pension provider. Um, we would calculate the monthly payroll, including the HMRC pensions and any statutory sick pay. The end of year returns, if PAs leave, we process with the P45 and P60 documents and ongoing support. The DP recipient is still the employer, even if they use the payroll service. Um, so, in summary, we um, work really with the DP recipients um, and really work to enable them to become as independent as possible with the whole management of their own direct payment to meet their goals. And um, if you've got any questions, we will do our best to answer them um, either now or, or another time through the our contact details. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And it's great to see a two person, um, a two person <laughs> presentation. Um, <laughs> any questions? Any questions? Tanya. Unmute yourself and <laughs> ask away. Yeah, just realised. Thanks, Louise and Debbie. That was really interesting and um, so like such a huge service you provide. I'm asking, it might be a really silly question, but we, I'm from Willows Counselling and we've often had clients ask us if they can use direct payments for counselling services. And I've never known the answer. I've always signposted them back to, um, you know, to find out themselves. I'm just wondering, is that something that you can uh, give guidance on? So we refer, we received the referral from Swindenborough Council. Right. So they are looking at the bigger picture, how you could use a direct payment. Mm -hmm. So maybe if they could go to their social worker and talk to them, perhaps right. they could use that money if okay. agreed for a counsellor. OK, that's really helpful. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. Thank you very much. Caroline. Hi there. Um, if somebody is in receipt of a direct payment and they're employing a PA, um, and they decide they no longer want to use that PA for whatever reason, just personal circumstance, they might not get on with the person after a while. Um, how do they go about um, ending that employment? That's really difficult because obviously that, that employee has rights as anybody else. If they've been employed for longer than um, 12, 12 <coughs> they've gone blank, Two longer years. than three months. Oh, yeah. and they um they have rights so they can't just say well actually i don't fancy you today 
um, I'm going to dismiss you. I don't want you anymore. The best advice we could give is to go through the insurance company. And the only reason somebody could be dismissed would be gross misconduct or uh, to go down the disciplinary route. If the job, that's if, is that oh, something that NM would support with? Sorry? Is that something that NM would support the client to do? Or is that something that who, who, the, the who, who would support that person? The insurance company would support that person. Okay. Because that that person is the employer. We, okay. if, if, if it was down the disciplinary route, we could sit in with them, but we couldn't say anything. We could take notes on their behalf. Um, okay. Does that help? Yes, absolutely. I've got a case like that at the moment, so I'm a, a little. I'm not sure where to go with it, really. So I just yes, okay. that's very very good to know. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes clients uh, just want agency and they don't want their PAs anymore. But what you got to consideration is 2P because that job is still available. Yeah. So that's quite interesting as well. So that is whether that agency will, um, would be happy with 2P because that job is still available. Yeah. And when, uh, just one more question, sorry, I'll be really quick. But when the client um, begins the process they are made aware aren't they that actually once you've picked your PA that PA has rights as an employee so you have to bear these things in mind because of course yeah. well, then we always okay. say you know if if after 12 weeks you decide actually this isn't suitable for me it's like Louise said they're coming into your home mm. you know it, it, it's a very unique job I think mm. Um, and we will always explain at the beginning, you know, do a 12 week review, see how you feel, if you're happy, or you can extend the probation period if you're unhappy and perhaps give it another month, see how you get on. But we do stress to clients after 12 weeks, you know, Excellent. more difficult. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That is fantastic. Thank you very much to both of you for a great presentation. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and for sharing your contact details and of course they're also on the direct online so whilst you'll ask you to unshare thank you very much <laughs> and